Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Oh, honey. <laughs> you guys remember Kai and Jax, this guy, this guy right here. And judging by the title, you guys already know what this video is. It's very important for those people that want to become husky owners, but yet probably don't know how much responsibility comes into owning a husky. Yeah, educate yourself. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> educate yourself. So if you guys want to know all the facts about huskies, then just keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you guys definitely need to know about huskies is that they are super, super playful. And they can get extremely bored really fast. So you guys always need to have some kind of toy or bones for them so they have something to chew on and play with. They destroy all the toys that we give them, but you know, bones help with that sometimes. They are so good with children. It's like the cutest thing ever. When my little cousins come by sometimes, they get so excited and they just, all they just, all they wanna do is just play with them and it's always oh, the cutest thing ever. Um, Jax can get really, not aggressive, but too playful. And then, yeah. You need to, I need to watch out for him. Probably one of the most important things you need to know about Huskies is they are they are known to be escape artists. You guys need to watch them closely when a door is open, even a window. Kai has left the building like so many times. When he sees an open door, he just runs out. Jax, he also runs out, but he doesn't get very far sometimes because he's a little chunky. But look at that face. If you guys have fences, they'll probably dig under the fence because uh, we have a brick wall and they don't, they they can't, they won't because it's a brick wall. <laughs> you guys need to watch them very closely when, even when you're walking them because they'll try to escape out of their leash sometimes. We have to put a harness on them so they won't escape, but you know, it's, it's just, it's, you need to watch out because like I said, they're artists for this kinds of stuff. They love to escape, don't you now? And when they do leave, uh, try food, maybe like a ham or a hot dog and see if that'll make them come back. He, Kai does not listen when it comes to food. He does not give two fluffs. He does not care. He just runs forever and ever. And then we some, by some miracle, we catch him. It's, yeah, so try food. And if not, get your car <laughs> and start chasing after them. Jax, he'll come with food, definitely. If you shake a bag of trees, he'll come running for the bag. It's the cutest thing ever. So, the other thing about huskies is they do not get fatigued. It is scientifically proven. They have a lot of energy, so they need to run and whatever for hours. Sometimes, sometimes we take them to the park at night and we like, put them in this baseball field where it's like all closed off and Kai just runs and it's so cute. They are so strong. Kai literally dragged me once and it's kind of dangerous for me to take them out walking because like I said, Kai was not properly trained to walk on a leash and he tugs and he just pulls and it's, it hurts and oh, it's, it's the worst thing ever. But sometimes I try to run with him, sometimes I can't because he's too fast and too strong. Like I said, he literally dragged me once in the park. <laughs> that was horrible. They can regulate the, their metabolism so that they can run incredibly long distances for an incredibly long amount of time. One of the other important things that you need to know about Huskies also is when it's... Oh, honey. <laughs> when it's summer, they start blowing their coat. It's called, it's called blowing their coat and they shed like crazy. You literally need to brush them like twice a day. I have not been brushing them. But yeah, you need to and you need to get a really good brush that goes into the second layer of the coat because they do have two layers of fur the their undercoat is short and warm while the overcoat is long and water resistant so whenever whenever they're in the rain just know they're not getting wet <laughs> this whole shedding thing does happen twice a year so y'all need to watch out for your clothing because it gets everywhere 
and your food. <laughs> Never shave your huskies. It is probably one of the worst things that you can possibly do to them because their coat protects them from the heat, from the sun, from the coldness. So never shave your huskies, even when you think it's like super, super freaking hot. Never shave them. Some huskies howl and some don't. Jax, I've never heard him howl, only when he like stretches and once when he was a little tiny puppy. Kai sometimes howls, but only when someone like provokes him. But it's it's not like a everyday thing. So count your blessings if your if your husky doesn't howl because it's Ugh. sometimes like when you sing or like when you scream, that's when he's that's when he howls. And I did get a video, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. He's not a very big howler. Neither a barker, but he only barks when this guy over here bugs him too much or when he sees someone he doesn't know. That's when he only barks. Or when someone is like yelling at him, like my mom or like my dad. Or like when my parents are yelling at us, Kai defends us and he starts barking at my parents. It's the cutest thing ever. I don't know if I have a video. I don't think I do. Something else you need to know is they are not very great watchdogs, but mine are, kind of. I only say this because because they are so friendly, they, like I said, do not do very great watchdogs. Except for Kai and Jax, when we adopted Kai, he was very protective of us, especially from our parents. Like, when my mom tried to hit us, like, just a little tap here and there, Kai would get really protective, start barking at my mom, and get in front of us. And sometimes when he saw someone he didn't recognize, he would bark at them. And Jax, I would like to think he's kind of protective of us. When he sees someone also that he doesn't know, he growls so loud, you would think it's not him. Like, it's crazy how loud and scary he growls. I've never heard him growl before until one of my kids, one of my kids, one of my cousins, <laughs> <laughs> until one of my cousins came. Um, Jack saw him and he's like, who is that? And he just started growling at him. It was so scary. My mom even woke up because they were like, what's going on? What's going on? And it was my cousin and they did not recognize him. So they started going crazy and being real protective. So I'm pretty sure these guys um, are pretty guarding material. <laughs> if you guys want to make them homemade food, um, I kind of, do recommend it because it's a lot healthier for them. Sometimes when they're out of food, I like to make them white rice with brown rice, no seasoning whatsoever because it's bad for their tummies. Um, sometimes if we have chicken, I'll put some chicken in there. Uh, uh, not raw eggs, boiled, hard boiled eggs. They really like those, but they really like rice. It's crazy, like Jax eats it. No, he sucks it all in within like seconds because he just loves it so much and Kai really does like it they both really like rice so yeah if you guys want to ever make them like homemade food just make them all of that or salmon they really like salmon too but I've never really given given them salmon like just that salmon in a in a can mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff chemical but yeah um uh, so yeah, if you guys ever want to make them homemade food, that is what you can mix up together. And trust me, they're gonna really, really like it. If the only reason you guys want a husky is because they're beautiful dogs, then don't get a husky because they come with a lot of responsibility. I actually read somewhere that like seven in 10 people take their, their huskies to like, shelters because they can't handle them and they didn't realize how much responsibility came into owning a husky was so they're all like I'm done I can't do with this so they take them to like the pound or whatever and they put them up for adoption because they just they can't handle it so yeah if you just think a husky is cute and you're like oh I want it because it's so cute then please don't get a husky because that just means that you're not qualified to take care of huskies <laughs> You guys need to have like a sense of humor because oh sweet lord I cannot tell you how much clothing Jax has ripped up 
oh, since he's lived here, like so much clothing, like I am running low <laughs> on certain things. <laughs> on what? <laughs> Shut up. Have them steer clear of clothing or anything fabric-y in general because they probably will swallow it like Jax has and he's thrown it up. You can see the fabrics and oh, it's so bad. I'm, I'm glad he threw it up. Uh, so yeah, make sure there are no clothing on the floor because your dog will probably rip it up and eat it. Sometimes when he does grab the clothing, I kind of laugh because it's the cutest thing ever because he thinks I'm playing with him. He Like I run after him because the clothing is in his mouth, he's, on, he's grabbing onto it and he'll just run around like if I'm chasing him and I am chasing him but I'm trying to get my clothing away from him. And I just, yeah, you guys need to have a sense of humor because they can destroy some things and they are, they love to dig. Jax Moore, he loves to dig. So yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a nice big old thumbs up. Sorry. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. And if you guys want to follow on their Instagram page, because I just made one, I will put it right here for you guys to follow and I will put a direct link in the description box. Okay, here. <laughs> Have a nice day and a great week and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye guys! Bye! <laughs>